Okay, today's project on my 1992 Dodge W250 is we're going to be timing the VE injection pump on the engine. And from what I've read online, if we bump the timing about an eighth of an inch, then this will give us a good increase in both mileage and power overall into mid-range and top, top end power. So in order to bump the timing, um, here's what we're going to need to do. So we have four bolts on the injection pump itself that we're going to need to loosen. And then, I, actually I think the nuts, four nuts on the injection pump. And then once those four nuts are loose, then we can take the whole injection pump. And what we're going to be doing is just rotating it towards the cylinder head. So if you're looking at it from the front of the truck, you'll be rotating it counterclockwise towards the cylinder head. And how we're going to do that is take a ratchet strap, and in our case we've got an engine lift close by, so we're just going to take the engine lift and put it over top, and then use the ratchet strap to pull up on the injection pump. And so on the side of the injection pump here, from the factory, this is just looking in on it from the side, on the back of the timing cover. We just cleaned off the dirt here, and there's supposed to be a mark right there, and then on our timing pump there's a little dot, it looks like, or shape there, and they're, actually that looks like a little arrow almost. And that is lined up with that slot from the factory, and when we bump it, we're going to make that dot go up an eighth of an inch compared to this line here and then that'll be our timing bump. So we're gonna need to get in there and measure that roughly to be about an eighth of an inch um, after we rotate it. Okay, so the four nuts that you're gonna need to loosen in order to rotate the pump, there's this one here, that's 13 millimeter. And then if you come up here, the 13 millimeter on the back side, as you can see where my socket is, and I had a couple long extensions going out through the back where I put my ratchet on so I could get some leverage on there. There's that one. And then uh, third one, not so bad to get at right there. I don't think that one's 13. Looks like 10 millimeter. And then there's another hard one to get at, which is a little bit further back in here. Let's see if I can get a view on it. Right back, that's hard to see right back in there that I've already loosened that one. So there's four and that one's 13 millimeters. So once you get those four loose, then you can uh, ratchet it over an eighth of an inch and then tighten them all down and then loosen off your ratchet strap and it shouldn't move. So we'll do that now. So on automatic trucks, the V injection pump has, this is the throttle position sensor on top of it. And since uh, I've already converted this truck to a manual, this is no longer needed. Um, but in this case, it might be, it's good to have because this is just a metal bracket and we can put our hook on here. And there's a little lip on the bottom of this so it can grab on that. So if your truck's a manual and you don't have that, just find a good place to hook onto the injection pump, probably on the cover somewhere. Um, and it, it shouldn't ruin the pump as long as you've got a good, good hook on it, just enough to rotate it. All right, just before we start cranking here, what we did was mark the existing lines on the pump and on the timing cover, and then took a ruler, slid it down from the top of the timing cover on the back side, and measured up about an eighth of an inch. So we know when the pump moves, where to stop. So that top line is the eighth of an inch up. All right, so before we start cranking, actually we're gonna pull off, this is the boost tube and take that off completely. Um, washers, two washers in there, one on this side and one on that side. Um, just so we have less resistance when we're trying to rotate the pump. Okay, so we're using a different point to um, strap to. Um, instead of using the engine lift that we had, we're going down into wrapping around the sway bar and then hooking to itself. And then we still got the block of wood there, just because the engine lift was moving on us. So then we'll start ratcheting and see if it moves. Okay, so we've ratcheted it. There's lots of pressure on this right now, and the whole pump's moved. As you can see, we're just about lined up there, so now we can tighten everything down, and then let 
the ratchet strap off after everything's tightened down and then hopefully it won't move back. There's a lot of pressure on there now, so we'll see. Okay, so now we're going to let it off and see if it moves. And it did move, looks like. So we're all good to go. I um, already tightened up the banjo fitting there. And all four bolts were already tightened. So now we can start it up and see how it runs. <laughs> 